Hello, everybody. My name's Gail. Hi, Gail. And I'm addicted to dating sims. It all started when in high school I discovered DeviantArt and stumbled upon a creator by the name Pacthesis. They made these dating sims that had some element of gameplay to them, choosing places to go and collecting stats. There were riddles and passcodes you could find, this guy kept showing up everywhere, and you had a month to accomplish whatever goal you were given. And then you also had like five guys all vying for your affections as the one true hot goddess of the world. Guys, I was obsessed with these games. So obviously the next step was to find games like them, and with the power of the internet, I found Otome games. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. If you aren't a nerd like me, you might not be familiar with the word Otome. It's the Japanese word for maiden, but in the video game context, it means a game aimed at girls usually designed around choosing paths that lead to different romance options. Basically, it's a dating sim aimed at girls. And what better way to celebrate Valentine's Day than to ignore your significant other of the real world for the love of five potential hot dudes who may or may not be cursed half-vampire half-witch warrior princes who have nothing better to do than fawn over your perfect insert quality of human here. Also, this game's free on Steam, so like, it's cheaper than a real date too. Wait, 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 guys. Hold, hold the phone. This game is free. Can anyone explain why this has any production quality? Is, is this game secretly a way for, for a demon to steal your soul or something? A princess lives in a monochrome world, working from the side th Oh god, yep, yep, there is definitely a demon here. So this is Cinderella Phenomenon, a game where you play as the icy Lucette Riella Breton, the 17-year-old crown princess and future queen of... Angiel. Sure, that's a country name. You are considered an ice princess because you fire maids for not doing their jobs right and because you don't like your set family who moved in after your mom died and whom your father blatantly loves over you. You know, the clearly evil stuff. You even got a new sister who you basically ignore because everyone in the kingdom wishes she would be the actual crown princess instead of you. So in the span of five minutes, all we've learned is really everybody hates us. Cool. But that's okay because we're introduced to our first love interest. You can tell by the fancy image that comes up when you meet them. And this is... Rod. Our stepbrother. Bit odd to start your game off by implying kinda incestuous relationships are a choice, but hey, no chromo, am I right? So you have a nice breakfast where your stepmom, Ophelia, and stepsister, Emeljean. Uh, Emel- Emeljean? Emeline. Yeah, that. Emeline. Talks about reading fairy tales and how they're so nice. Fairy tales mislead humans into believing they can have things they do not deserve. Fame, riches, love, happily ever afters. And when their wishes do not come to fruition exactly as they want them to, the humans blame the witches for granting them in the first place. You know, I'm starting to see the whole ice princess thing. So you leave the breakfast table in a huff to meet love interest number two, Fritz, your personal knight. But we don't have time to get to know him now because we have princess things to do, like go shopping and pretend we give a crap about the common folk. Lo and behold, we actually meet another love interest, this really hot chick. And outside, there's another, this 12-year-old boy. Okay, guys, 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 well, just just a second of your time. Um, We only have one guy out of four that we can date without being sent to medieval prison. Yeah, yeah, of course that's a problem. Uh, can you fix- So you reconfirm everybody hates you and head home and talk to your doll collection like a sane person. Then one of your dolls turns out to be a witch who curses you. 
But hey, sometimes you don't know that you've been cuddling a witch to your chest as you cried yourself to sleep at night thinking that at least you won't be judged in this, your most vulnerable of moments. And now you're broke. And a beggar. And nobody remembers you. Which is actually a net improvement over everybody hating you. So, silver linings, I guess. You almost get mugged, the king doesn't remember you, and- Emmeline. Is now crown princess, and no one will take your money because they don't want your dirt in their stores. But all hope isn't lost, because as you almost get mugged a second time, you run into the 12 year old kid and a sword man. Yada yada yada, you end up in Marchin, a place for cursed people. Lots of cursed people, actually. In fact, all five romance options are just various cursed people. You all have the fairy tale curse, a curse where something bad happens to you, referencing the plot of a fairy tale. Rod has the Little Mermaid curse, Waltz has the Neverland curse, Karma has a secret curse, Fritz doesn't even know he has a curse, and our fifth boy... Ah, here he is! Rumpel! Short for Rumpled Stiltskin, cause his curse is that he has amnesia and can't remember his past life. And you are cursed with Cinderella, where instead of from rags to riches, you went from riches to rags and have to do three good deeds to regain your crown. You also learn that the witch that cursed you runs the place along with the ultimate fairy, and really she's actually a good person, but you have to prove that you're a good person. Yeah, you don't really like that explanation. And so the real story begins as you try to break your curse with the help of one of the eligible bachelors. Two roots are locked until you beat the game twice, which according to dating tropes means one of them has to secretly have been your best friend all along and the true root. It's, it's just the law. So what we have to choose from now is a woman who is secretly a man, an amnesiac who will not stop flirting with anything that moves, and your stepbrother who also hates you. Winning group of men here. I chose Karma because I'm a sucker for long-haired men. So you go out and do some chores with him. You learn that Karma's curse involves making women fall in love with him, which is why he dresses as a woman. And then you sneak out at night and learn, <gasps> he's also a really hot dude? I mean, <gasps> he's actually the sword man that saved you before? And apparently, he's really good. You also almost get mugged a third time, but this time it's actually a kidnapping and you learned you're being hunted by someone. You don't know who. But you're gonna find out by being kidnapped again. You you really gotta work on that. But Karma is here to save the day, and you also get to be a little heroic as you pull him away from a horde of magically ravenous women. Not my man, you be and that act of heroism earns you your first good deed! Only two to go! You break into his room to thank him, only to see him half naked. Also, there's this subplot where one knight likes another knight, but he won't tell her. But who cares? Now Karma is teaching you how to fight, and it involves being really close. He tells you his real identity as the lost prince of the neighboring kingdom, and you have the most romantic spar session that didn't involve romance at all. The next morning you get up and the knights are dating. But Karma's acting weird and doesn't want to talk to you. So you do the most logical thing. Buy him a gift and then bust into his room to see him half naked again. He doesn't seem too pleased, but I'm sure he'll forgive you. You train a couple more nights before he shows up again and apologizes for being weird. But that's okay, because you've been weird this entire time and he hasn't really complained. But now he has some sort of pain thing going on and that kind of worries you. But also you've got your second good deed, so hooray? But of course that means more drama as the king comes out and says he's done being king and instead this clearly not evil guy who definitely isn't threatening his family is going to be king. And because you still care about your crown for some reason, you decide you have to stop this coup. All your friends plan things together. You say, I'm not going to be left behind. Karma's all like, but I want you safe. And you respond, well that sucks, because the plot literally doesn't move without me. So it's settled, and you and the gang break into the palace at night to save the king. It goes great, if by great you mean that you get found out pretty easily and are funneled into the throne room by yourself where you are almost killed until rumors of a rampaging beast killing everybody outside get to you. And suddenly, all the clues come together. His beauty curse, his bitterness at people's relationships, his false distance away from you, his rose tattoo that slowly becomes covered in thorns, the fact that literally two minutes ago he asked if you would ever be afraid of him. 
Karma is the beast, his curse of beauty and the beast taking over and changing his form. All you have to do is not stab him and you get the good ending. So don't stab him. No. What are you- Stop it! Are you stupid? I said- <sighs> Well, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes, you fall in love with a woman who turns out to be a lost prince with great bone structure. Sometimes, you stab him because he magically turns into a scary, bloodthirsty beast. Such is life. We can only accept it and move on. No, frick that! You go through the game again, but this time you pick all the good choices. Remain inside, eat the chameleon cupcake, tease him, fight back, bring the knights together, bite him, scold him, turn and point your sword at him, hug, think, talk, promise, and never be afraid. Making sure by the end, you have thoroughly made this man yours, so that when you pick up the sword, you stab the bad guys, turn to the beast, proclaim your love, and spend the rest of your life in bed. Hi there. It's the end of the video, my friend. Hit the bell if it was okay. I'm sure I'll make good content someday. I'll play some games or do some drawing Pokemon and fights with darling video essays and reviews. I couldn't do it without you, so thanks. Like and subscribe.